walking around the woods grazing on huckleberries. Mm. All right, let me get all my crap together to go for a hike here. Camera, I'm gonna bring Nikon D500 with a Sigma 100 to 400 millimeter lens. It should be good for any birds or bears or anything I need to kind of stay far away from. Uh, I'm also going to throw in a uh, 16 to 80 millimeter lens that'll fit on the D500, which is down here, just in case I need something a little more wide angle. So I'm going to throw that in the backpack. I'm going to bring some water. I've got bear spray. I'm going to bring my strap that attaches to my backpack, my little sling strap that can hold the camera. Uh, maybe rain, so I'm going to throw a rain jacket in here as well. And that's it. About time to head out. I'm going to keep camera in the bag, in the backpack, until I find something. So in the bottom of the bag, that lens will go in. Rain jacket. Bottle of water camera. Uh, this is my little Bugs um, Thermocell for mosquito repellent. These things work great. Uh, I don't see any mosquitoes yet, but I'm going to have this ready in case I start to see them. And that's about it. grabbing a handful of huckleberries for my walk here. It's pretty nice. Those are so good. Wild huckleberries. Okay, I just heard a bird calling. And I think it's an interesting bird. It sounded like a northern goshawk. So I'm kind of waiting to see if I can hear it again and try and locate it. It came from that way, so I'm going to walk that way. Okay, so that's a northern goshawk, and that is a juvenile. She just flew in really close to me too, I better get my camera out. The adults look really cool. The juveniles, in my opinion, don't look as cool. It just flew away. Uh, but with juveniles around, that almost certainly means that there is at least one adult around too. So I might get lucky. They're really hard to photograph, or historically they have been for me. But won't stop me from trying. So this bird's way up in a tree with a white background, kind of there's a cloud with some blue sky in it. Not a great shot, but kind of just to document um, what I'm photographing. And uh, just kind of a record shot. So not, not a particularly great picture yet, but at least it's a clean, clear shot with no branches in the way. And that's pretty hard to get with a goshawk. All right, so I just made a cool find found the goshawk nest. It's too late this year. Um, the chicks have already left the nest and they're flying around. And But now I know where a goshawk nest is. So for next spring, that'll be awesome. I can come in here early and try and document some nesting goshawk behavior. I'm kind of just going to hang out here and listen and observe for a while. 
Uh, I've, I've never spent time in the field with goshawks, so well, it'd be great to jump right in and start getting some beautiful photographs. It's pretty unrealistic expectation. Um, so I'm going to kind of use this as an opportunity to learn about them. I'm going to be kind of hanging out here observing like the calls they're making, uh, the behaviors they're doing. Hopefully I'll see some interaction between the two, I think there are two chicks, maybe the adult will come in, they're calling to each other, their level of tolerance for me in the forest. Um, but I need to learn those kind of things so that I can make sure I'm being respectful towards them and also so that I can increase my chances for getting some nice photographs and having some success in here. So this is a cool opportunity. Um, I've got to try and be patient and that's a skill that takes development, <laughs> for me at least. I know that this is going to take some time to um, try and understand them and understand how to photograph them as well. And the huckleberries at my feet aren't too bad either. So while I'm waiting, I'm nibbling on berries. Delicious. So I didn't, didn't get any good pictures of the goshawk tonight. But now that I know where that nest is, I can come back in the springtime and hopefully make some good images. So that was cool. Ate some berries, saw a bunch of bear poop in the berry patches, but no bears. They're probably seeing me coming and disappearing, but uh, it's fun to be out. Beautiful evening, and then I still have a little bit of time. I'm gonna hop in the car and go uh, get out of the trees and see what the clouds look like, and maybe I'll get a nice sunset shoot tonight. So if not, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, have a great day. Okay, I found a critter. Actually, I found two critters. Uh, there's some white pelicans cruising around in the Snake River over here. And the last light of day is just hitting some trees over here and lighting them up in this kind of cool orange color. And uh, so I've got these pelicans swimming through some relatively calm water. So I'm getting a decent reflection of uh, these kind of last light of day sunlit trees behind them. So I'm shooting with a Nikon D500 on a 200 to 500 millimeter lens and I'm kind of all over the place depending on uh, how much of the water is getting a cool reflection or not. I'll zoom way out and include that in the scene and if only a little bit I'll, I'll zoom right in and then wait for them to swim right across a cool little pocket of light and then I'll take a, a picture you know zoomed way out at 500 millimeters so uh, it's pretty fun the mosquitoes were just destroying me so I had to run home and put a, a run back to the car and get a uh, rain jacket it's awful Oof. anyway it's kind of fun